Hey, this is Robert from Virtual Studio Set, and today I'm going to show you how to do a uh, live weather forecast in a program called vMix. vMix is a piece of uh, software that allows you to do live video productions. So it allows you to input camera feeds, do a live chroma key for somebody shooting on a green screen or a blue screen, composite them, them onto motion graphics and uh, animations and video footage, and allows you to do all that. It allows you to live stream it or to output the uh, video signal to a closed circuit television system or something like that in a school. A lot of people use this to uh, do live productions on YouTube or Ustream. Um, they also use it for uh, schools, um, live uh, sports events, and any kind of live production setting that uh, you have multiple camera inputs and uh, graphics needs and that sort of thing. And so what you can see here is uh, we have on this screen, we've got our, uh, our talent footage. Um, this is kind of in place of what would be a live camera feed. So I'm just gonna use kind of a looping um, uh, piece of footage where we have uh, this woman who's been filmed on a green screen. Um, but imagine that this is a lot, that's a live uh, camera feed coming from your camera into your computer and then being uh, composited in real time um, in vMix. And then behind her, we have a uh, five day forecast graphic and we have uh, kind of anima these animated uh, icons here that are moving around. And then we also have uh, some graphics and information that show up on the scene. And uh, just to kind of give you before we go uh, and take all this stuff out, um, I'll kind of show you that we've got uh, what, what are the different pieces. So we've got our five day forecast right here. And then we have um, uh, our individual graphics and our talent shot. And then our graphics that show up inside of the scene right there. So uh, let me close out all this stuff and uh, show you how it was all done. Okay, well, if you're not very familiar with, uh, with Vcast, uh, then I would encourage you to go back and look at some of my uh, other tutorials on vMix. It kind of goes into uh, more of the inputs and that kind of thing on, on, on vMix itself. You can also look at uh, their YouTube channel for vMix. They have a great, uh, uh, a few videos that'll just basically ramp you up, um, get you up to speed as far as uh, how to add inputs and what inputs are um, in the software and everything. Um, so I'm not going to go into that too much, but just to say that um, instead of importing assets into kind of a, uh, a video editor where you bring them on a timeline, um, everything in vMix is basically considered an input. So you can import a video footage that's an input, you can import a camera input that is considered an input. Um, everything is based on inputs. And you do that by adding um, an input down here on this main button and then you can choose from a list you can add cameras uh, videos DVDs streaming pictures all sorts of different things and uh, for this one uh, we're gonna basically use for all the weather graphics and everything they're all videos and so you could hit browse to find them you can also just grab your uh, grab your files from you know Windows and drag them in um, from a folder um, into your uh, into the video inputs area. Um, so for these first ones, uh, we're going to have uh, all the different weather icons, and so that's what we have here. These are um, uh, files that we have on uh, on the Virtual Studio Set site that are isolated uh, weather icons. And so I'm going to click and drag all these down into there. And so if I hit play, you can kind of see. These are just little animated icons that are pre-alpha, um, have alpha channel built in, and so they just are transparent and go right on top of, uh, right on top of your um, studio. Um, and then I also have um, a five-day blank weather forecast um, animation, which looks like this, and uh, we'll be putting that on top. <clears throat> we'll be putting the graphics and everything else on top of this five-day animation. Um, finally, we have uh, our graphics from our uh, five-day forecast, which we can pull from online. Um, and uh, the way that works is the uh, template itself comes with a Photoshop file that has all of the graphics. And you can just go in and change what you need. You can change dates. You can change the title here. And then you basically just save a file. And uh, I basically just choose a, a PNG file with an alpha channel um, so that you can save that. And then 
you'll see that's just five day weather.png. That PNG file has uh, uh, the transparency built in, and then you can just overlay that on top of uh, the graphics and whatnot there. Um, so uh, before we get into adding in our chroma key from our talent, uh, let's set up the uh, five day forecast so we can add all of our, all of our graphics and everything onto the, uh, into the scene. And so um, to start with, we're gonna click the gear icon on this motion weather, the five day background. And we'll go to multi view. And then we'll select cloudy like so. So multi-view allows you to add more graphics um, and animations on top of other graphics inside of vMix. And, uh, and so we, what we'll do is we'll just uh, add, in our, um, add in our graphics, add in our animations, and then we'll kind of scale and position them into place as we need. So we'll uh, take this first cloudy one, and then uh, we'll click the position button next to it. And we'll zoom out a little bit on it, and then move it where it needs to go in the scene. like so. And then we'll go back to multi-view, click the next one, mostly cloudy, zoom out, move it into place. Move it up here. All right there, do the next one part of the cloudy position zoom it to place multi view for the fourth one we'll choose uh, rain for the last one, snow. So it's quite a week, wherever this is. They have all of the different weather patterns going through. Like so. Like that, okay? And so now, you can see, if I hit play on our five day forecast, and then I can loop all of these icons and play them as well. And now you can see that they kind of move just a little bit, you know, in their place on there. Okay. Um, so now that these icons are done, we can kind of minimize their uh, uh, their size here so that we don't kind of have to see them as quite as big as they are. So if you right click on uh, the titles of the icons, you can minimize so that you don't have to see all of them quite as much. Okay. Um, all right, so next we're gonna do is import our, um, uh, our camera or our footage with the green screen, with our presenter on the green screen. Um, like I said, this is a placeholder for your live uh, camera feed. All right, and so we'll import her, and um, let's go ahead and take this um, scene over to our uh, live feed, and so we'll just hit, this is preview, and this is uh, the live feed, and so we're just gonna cut to it. So we gotta go in there, all right? And, uh, and then we'll have our talent. I'll double click on that layer, or that input, and go to color key, Check mark the color key box, go to the eyedropper, sample the green in the scene, click auto chrome key, uh, check the anti aliasing box to kind of smooth things out a little bit, and then use the slider to kind of adjust a hair a little bit. Okay. And um, 
yeah and so we've got uh, so we've got our talent we've got our graphics and we've got our um, our scene there with uh, all of our stuff and so now um, we're gonna put it all together and to do that you have basically four inputs um, kind of four simultaneous inputs inside of vmix and uh, the fourth is the top layer and then you go down in layers each ones you know further down so uh, our talents gonna be on layer four and so you'll see that she pops in over top of this um, the uh, the graphics are going to be layer three and you'll see those show up right there and then our uh, main graphic there is going to be uh, layer two the other thing I'm going to do is uh, I don't like her kind of being over there and so I'm going to double click on that input go to general I'm going to mirror her so she's on this side of the screen and then I'm actually going to scale her down a little bit to fit the scene a little better I'm going to scale her down just a little bit to kind of fit the scene a little better. And then move, position her down, just like that. Uh, now that we've got her in place, another thing that you can do is uh, add an input that is a uh, virtual studio input or a virtual set input um, inside of vMix. And so if you uh, click add input and then go to virtual set, and then select blank and click OK. What we can do is uh, is assign uh, the, the the motion graphic, the weather five day forecast motion graphic, as the background, and then we can layer our items on top of it that way. And in that way, we can have um, we can select this uh, uh, virtual set, and it kind of brings everything in without having to do it manually with these layers down here. And so let me show you kind of how that would work. Um, so we've got our virtual set um, uh, template right here. Um, we'll go to setup and then for our background we're going to select on the drop down there for that background we're going to select our uh, motion five day forecast. Okay. On the next layer we're going to select our five day weather PNG graphics. And then on the next layer, we're going to choose our talent shot, like so. And so now if I take that shot, you'll see that we get this information that kind of pops in here. Now you notice that when we did that, we have kind of that intro animation. And unless you're kind of queuing these graphics individually, um, then you're going to have that animation, but you're still going to have the graphics up there already. And so uh, a quick way to kind of fix that is to go to... Uh, this studio or this um, weather five day forecast clip and then set the endpoints um, uh, so that it's after the animation has already come in. So what we'll do is we'll scrub to this part kind of right there and then we'll do we'll right click on the scrubber and click mark in and then that'll go to that point and then loop as long as we have the loop setting selected and so now if I click to take this footage you see we kind of cut off that intro animation a little bit and uh, and so now we don't have that same issue where the graphics come in but our graphics are kind of overlaid already okay and so um, and so that allows you to do the uh, the five day forecast so you can see we have all these different elements in here and uh, which is kind of neat um, now the next thing that we could do is to have different graphics that show up um, for each different um, segment of the weather forecast. And so let me show you how you do that. Okay. And so, um, so this is basically uh, a couple of new graphics that we have in the uh, in the setup here. So we have this which is kind of a uh, like a leader graphic that would go into our um, into our forecast and then we also have another graphic that comes in that could be filled up with other information about the, today's forecast and so what I would do or what I would recommend doing for a workflow would be to add another virtual studio input 
and then on the setup for it, we'll change the background to that one there. And we'll change, this one would be the graphics. I don't have the graphics for it right now, but it would, you know, you'd fill up with whatever graphics you want to show in this area there. And then we'll put our talent on there as well. And right here, we can um, click the gear icon, go to general. We'll call this one today's forecast. And then this one we'll call leader graphic. And this one, oops. And this one we will call seven day forecast. Oops. Okay. And, uh, and so we have, um, we'll right click that so that we can kind of get that out of the way. And so we have, basically we have three main shots. We have our seven day forecast shot, our leader graphic, and then our today's forecast shot as well. Um, now this starts getting a little bit confusing when you have so many um, assets, so many inputs in one place. And uh, vMix has a great way inside of, um, inside of it to basically categorize stuff so that you don't have to see everything all at once. Um, and so you can do that by categorizing things as red or green or yellow. Um, and then you can just see the ones that you wanna see when you're doing your setup. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this seven day forecast set up and drag it to the red category. I'm gonna do the same thing with the leader graphic. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with today's forecast. And so now if I click this red category, all we have is the main um, uh, camera setups without having to see all the different inputs and everything that is uh, made up of those. So I'm gonna drag this leader graphic to the first part. And so basically you can see your progression. So you've got a leader graphic, you go into a seven day forecast, and then you can go into today's forecast. Um, so it's kind of cool. So you can basically just go through the different setups and uh, fade between those and do kind of a live production with a whole bunch of different weather graphics. You could do a fairly complicated looking weather forecast, but really it's not too bad uh, once you kind of uh, play around with it a little bit. Um, Last couple things that you can do with the uh, with the virtual studios inside of uh, inside of vMix is uh, you can do camera moves. And so if you're on this camera setting for the uh, virtual sets, you can click these boxes here, which allow you to zoom in and out of uh, the uh, the studio there and so you can zoom in and zoom out and so you could use that you know during uh, as you maybe go out of a leader graphic into uh, the forecast you could start zoomed in and then zoom out as you come in and it gives it just a kind of a nice looking uh, look and feel um, anyway so that's basically it um, like I said vMix great piece of software especially if you're doing any kind of live stuff um, really easy to use uh, I picked it up really quick um, and I think that uh, it'd be something that uh, definitely be good for a lot of our what a lot of our clients. Um, if you have any questions or anything, just give me a shout. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description for uh, our site, and then also for these weather graphics in case you might be interested in those as well. Um, anyways, thanks for watching, and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks. Bye.